Okay, in this video, I am going to show you how you can uh, like customize all your controls in the PSP emulator known as a PPSSPP. Uh, I'm using version 1.17.1, but it doesn't matter. I believe that most of the versions that you find on uh, your app store would be working just fine and will have this function anyway. Okay, if you can see here, I have already set up some custom game settings for each game. So that means that, you see, if you go here, uh, basically in general, if you go to settings and then controls and on touch con control, okay, that will turn it off, but this will turn it on again. And then you have several options of customization here. It's already very good. But other than that, this is where you can edit the layout. So this is, um, well, actually the default is like this. I will click on reset and that is the default. Okay, this is the default um, control layout. But you can freely customize this. And this is for the general settings. now. I have uh, hands which are uh, fingers which are slightly larger. Therefore, I will uh, do the the following. So I find it more comfortable if I move them a bit upwards and make it larger. And so I can do this for every button, even this one. And of course, this is, I'm talking about general, uh, you can do all this all by yourself. It's up to you how large or how small you want it to be. I would always resize the uh, these buttons because I believe that these buttons are very important for me. It can, yes, I know that the circle is uh, slightly out of, uh, out of the line there, but that is okay. It do doesn't really matter, uh, although I will... So this is the default, so when I play, it's going to be like this. Uh, this thing is, okay, let's move it slightly to the left just to get a better. So if I, if I start a game without a setting, it will be like this. So uh, the next thing is that I'm going to look at the custom controls for a game to give you an example. And I'm just going to remove the game config. Okay, let's delete the game config. And after I deleted the game config, the controls are going to be the same as the one we did just now. Okay. Um, this is how it looks like. This is a uh, standard controls. If you want to make it make the deep or the uh, analog stick larger, you can do that too. So, and okay, uh okay, I forgot about it. Uh, Okay, this is using the, uh, right now the game is using the default uh, layout, default game uh, controller layout. So this is the default for any game that I play. Uh, the L and R buttons are ridiculously large, but that's okay, this is a default. I barely use them because what I do usually is I will create a game config. And in this game config, I can set like uh, specific settings for the game. It can be for the controls, but also for other things as well. So if I want to make some changes, for example, to increase the rendering resolution to full HD, I can do that uh, by setting this to full HD, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. For now, we're just going to look at the controls. Now, it emulates the uh, control, the general control layout that we did earlier. But here, since we have already created a game config, it is going to allow us to make a specific control set for this game. Now, it's up to you how you feel like it. You can just, uh, for me, I can just resize it any way I want. And this will appear only in the game. I'm just going to resize the D-pad and make it slightly larger. And, and this one, I'm going to make it smaller because I feel like I don't use this often. Well, I will use it to change your weapons, but not often. Either way, I'm just going to resize. I think the R is uh, just... Oops, <laughs> made a mistake there. Okay, let's move back there. Um, okay, it's going to go out of line 
out of the line a little bit, but that is okay. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you, like I said. Uh, you can also choose to snap it. Snapping will just snap it in the coordinates and stuff. I, I don't really need to snap it. I don't really like it. But it's up to you. And now, uh, look at that. Uh, I have increased the D-pad size. Uh, give me a moment. I think I'm not very satisfied. I'm just going to move the D-pad a little bit further up. No, I'm not the D-pad. It's the analog stick. I moved the analog stick further up. And now I have a bigger analog stick. And if you want to, you can also do this. Uh, for example, if you want to separate... You see, like right now, what you if you resize it right now, you you see that they all come together. But the thing is, if you want to separate all this and you know specifically, like for example, change the uh, size of only one button or just to uh, replace the D-pad with separate buttons, like individual buttons, you can do that too. Same goes for the cross cross uh, circle and everything you can also do that by going to customize and okay you see here is a uh, something like custom 1 custom 2 custom 3 custom 4 let's try to make our own d-pad so here is what we you do okay you're gonna make it visible and icon okay there are several icons you can choose from uh, we can yeah we can choose a lot more uh, that that's not it <laughs> sorry so um, you can also choose this one for example I'm just going to use an example and then the shape the shape is going to be the shape of the button is it going to be like right so technically if you put like like this uh, let's go to the back and there you go you have like a uh, something that looks like the left button but well, actually, uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's move on to a different one. Let's use the left arrow. And let's change the shape to a circle. And then, here, let's pretend that it is the D-pad left. You can also set it as an analog left too, interestingly. But for now, for a simple example I'm just going to show you something uh, the same thing I do for custom 2 which I will put it as a right button and set it as the d-pad right when we go back there we already have it um, okay and uh, of course if we are going to replace the d-pad with these buttons I'm going to customize and I'm going to hide the d-pad Ta-da! done it's done now I'm going to move this buttons over here just to show you a proof of concept uh, you see they are separate buttons but you can resize them any way you want okay I just like that and yeah you have to you can also do the same thing with uh, okay for example if you if you want to change weapons very frequently in the game or change the radio stations you may put it here or you can put it anywhere you want like I say it's fully customizable and for the okay the up and down d-pad button are missing well no problem you can also add them here there are up to like 20 custom buttons that you can add so I'm just gonna add two more for the uh, for the up and down button I'm just going to use a simple up for the up d-pad up right I'm going to set this as a well, it's pretty straightforward and for this one, yeah, this is going to be the down button. I'm not sure if you can use a custom logo, but you can try that. I, for now, I'm not going to do anything crazy or anything. I'm just going to move these all the way. For me, I don't frequently use them. Uh, this is the horn button, so I'm just going to put it over here. I don't really use them that often. I'm just following some layout of the, uh, you know, the GTA games uh, on the mobile. They have some different layout too. Um, so yeah, this one too. Up button. Uh, okay, I don't use it often, but I'm still going to just put it here. Okay, so a bit jumbled up, but if you play right now, okay, it's uh, see, uh, the buttons work. The button works. You can change your weapon. You can change your radio station. It's, uh, for me, I find it to be quite convenient. But either way, uh, it's up to you. It is uh, highly customizable. 
I highly recommend you uh, to you know play around with the settings because it is very very customizable and I hope that you will like you will like it. It will help you a lot in your uh, gameplay and playing games, especially when it comes to other games which require a more comfortable way of playing them. For example, racing games might have a different uh, setting that you want to get used to. So that is where the customized individual game settings would, would be very helpful. This uh, setting will be helpful for me, at least in the GTA game, uh, because uh, I, I will use the this one more often, this, um, what we call it, um, we use this setting more often in the GTA game, but for a racing game, might be using the L and R button for uh, uh, accelerating and braking, or or maybe the uh, cross and the square button for accelerating and braking, then you can also separate this button too. You, you can do the same thing just like I did with the D-pad. Uh, and uh, that's about it. That's all for today's tutorial. I hope to see you again next time. Thank you.